What's up, boss dons? Coming back to you once again on a spaceship. Can I just say that um, right now I'm closing up some other space shoes and there's some um, shoes by uh, Star Wars times Adidas. But the reason why we're back on the spaceship again is because these are technically kind of sweeter. I think I might just be forcing it, but they're like moon boots technically. I mean, I don't want to offend Rick Owens or Montclair, but they're giving moon boot vibes. So I felt like I could um, so, and who's pretty much been like one of my go-to sites whenever shit sells out because I don't know why, but I feel like a lot of people aren't on in yet. So I feel like I'm always able to sneakily grab some shit. Off there. So, of course they have a sticker here. Open that. So here's the box. So there's an end card. We want to start off by trying to read the end card. Instagram blowing up. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, let's see this. Yo, they need to be saying, nigga, you ordered so much stuff from us that we want to give you some money. But no, that's not what they do. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't quite think that's what they're saying. Oh, they telling me I have 14 days to return my stuff. Hmm. Luckily for me, I don't want to return it. Even though... Let, this is what's so funny because today is February 7th that I'm making this video, but ironically, these were purchased October 24th. <laughs> I'm a fucking psychopath. I be really forgetting until it's time to wear something. I don't really go anywhere nowadays, so sweatsuit by Dino. Shopdino.com. Make sure you go cop up. Oh, shit, it's two minutes when you see the shoes yet. All right, so... This is a Montclair Tom Rick Owens collaboration. They did like a big collaboration with like coats and clothes and stuff like that. And everything was really, really, really impressive. So we have a um, white box and it's nothing too special about this box. We got a big Montclair logo, like kind of like in a high gloss. Um, then we got like a Montclair sticker on the side. And the sticker is really tough because it looks embroidered, which I think is pretty tough. Now, this collaboration has some really fire stuff. I mean, the coats were crazy. They also had these other, and this is so ironic, but they also had like these other fur Chewbacca kind of boots. And what was really interesting about them were that they had like the, um, but they were fur and they just was tough. They were just so tough. I've never really seen anything like it, to be honest with you. All right, so. I feel like with a lot of designer stuff, you really don't get too much special with the packaging. So, I mean, it's really never really much for you to see. And I know you guys really just come for the shoes. So, it's got like a regular white uh, dust bag, I'm assuming. I'm going to set it up like this. And, um, oh, you get two dust bags. That's pretty cool. You're definitely going to need them. I want to know because I keep seeing this Montclair challenge where people are putting their phones. Oh, okay. Yeah, so these patches are really tough. So, I don't know if y'all know, but like Montclair patches like on a coat so you can go up to somebody's coat and verify. But like when you like, okay, I'm going to exit on my phone. So, when you like go to the patch, right? Um, When you go to the patch, like I just want y'all to see it. Like I'm going to think I'm going to lock my phone. All right, so when you go to the patch, well, I guess your phone has to be unlocked. But when you go to the patch, it says open code. So, it has one of those little thingy things in there. But I think it's really tough. So, um, it says an error occurred, but basically it lets you know, yeah, that's the real deal. Um, so then we have some Montclair, um, tissue paper, which is interesting because Rick Owens usually doesn't have tissue paper. So I found it quite interesting to see tissue paper from Rick Owens on it, but I don't know, they might, I gotta go look in the box or something. They probably do have tissue paper. Y'all can go look at some of my unboxes. Um, I've done Rick Owens unboxes. Um, Okay, so, and now we have our boots. I don't know which one to look at first. So, but this is a really special pair of shoes, I feel like. This is a definitely a really special Okay, hold on, wait, let me have a picture. Overall, this is a really special pair of shoes, especially for me, because I really wanted a pair of moon boots recently, and um, I just really couldn't find any that I was too crazy about. So, when these dropped, I was just like, yo, I know these are about to be like millions of dollars and I can't afford them. 
but they actually weren't. I think they retailed somewhere between $800 or something. But what was really odd was different websites had them for different prices. Like Montclair sold them cheaper than Rick Owens did. Rick Owens probably sold them for eight something. So I originally had purchased from, I believe, like Montclair or Rick Owens. So I paid about like that full price. But then they had sent me an email and told me that uh, they were out of stock in my size or something. I really don't recall. So then I, I happened to see them um, come up as an ad from End. Um, I think it used to be inclothing.com. Oh, yes, it was inclothing.com. But in short, I ended up paying like. I believe it was cheaper. I, I don't think it has the price on here. But I believe it was cheaper. Yeah, they don't have the price on here. But whatever the case is, um, I instantly knew I was going to love them. I knew I was, was going to need them. This is definitely my season. Um, snow boots isn't something that I would probably normally buy unless it was just trying to make a crazy statement. So, to buy these, it made me feel like, check you out, being resourceful, having shit. From when shit comes up. But, so these boots have a lot of details. I mean, first glance, I'm like, why do they look so cheap? But, I mean, like, beyond that, like, it's a really dope shoe. So, we got, like, the crazy strings. Yo, he always do these strings. I should know what they're called. I feel so dumb right now. But hopefully y'all can comment. Um, so, we have his, like, signature strings. Because it's shaped after that symbol that a lot of people think is demonic, but I'm not sure, so I don't want to call it demonic. I forgot what the symbol is called, though. I believe it begins with a P. And so, whatever the case is, so that's pretty much, like, the most obvious detail in that, like, signature perf uh, product color beige um, tan string. We got, like, some nylon. We got some rubber. Nothing really special about the boots. I mean, like, this, like, faux leather right here looks, like, so cheap. Like, Zara shoes cheap. We got the Rick Owens insignia in the back on the heel where you can see the cheap material. Well, what looks to be cheap. I doubt it's real leather, but how would I know? I don't know. Um, then we got, like, two stripes that go up the back. And if you look, the way the strings are kind of, like, pulled through here, then pulled through there, then pulled through there, then pulled through there, then pulled through there, I think it's really tough. So then, under there, we have, like, another lace, like, some, some other laces. Um, I'm just untying them so you guys can see them. And if you look, like, under the shoestrings, there's, like, some more laces under there. It's really kind of hard to see. And um, then on the strap, we have Montclair. And then right here, we have, like, a Montclair times, like, Rick Owens logo. Because you put, like, the Rick Owens two stripes over what Montclair usually does, which is, like, some type of little thing or whatever. I really don't own much by Montclair. I think I own like two shirts or something that I had for years. I don't really wear them. I don't even know where they are to be honest. Um, and then in the inside of the tongue we got Montclair, Tom Burke Owens. I like showing you all the small details because unboxings I feel like used to be so much heavily focused on like packaging and we wanted to see like when I first started YouTube I used to be curious of like how certain shoes came because I feel like People put energy into that. And I feel like once, um, see, I've never really been like a hype beast sneaker kind of guy. And I'm not saying like these aren't like hype beasty, but I mean like that Supreme, Jordan, 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 Nike, 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 Jordan, 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 Jordan kind of guy. Like I used to be. But once I started wearing designer shoes, I felt like I was getting more for my money because like with Jordans and other shoes, they come out like every week. Whereas with designer shoes, you probably get five colors a season and um they're usually gonna sell next season but the thing is every time you wear them you still feel like you ever want a really dope pair of shoes and i used to like that experience i don't think it's that way anymore um everything is ubiquitous everything is everywhere but what i can tell you what i can tell you for a fact is if you buy things you like none of that none of that sh none of that sh matters in my asian doll the brat voice but Whatever the case is, what's really important, I think, about um, shoes like this is that they're almost like collector's items. They're collector's pieces. I don't think people went crazy over, like, this collab um, because Rick Owens is more of an avant-garde style. And I remember being young. I remember being, like, um, probably, like, 17 and stuff like that. And I remember, like, loving his stuff and kind of watching everything kind of look like a regurgitation of his 
And I love how a lot of his stuff had like, it was so like grungy, but feminine and soft. Like his fabrics always looked really thin and sheer, but yet everything else always looked like super like tough, like a lot of the shoes and other accessories. So I always really, really liked this brand. And I went, and I thought at some point, like out of all the brands, you know, like Balenciaga is so, 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 so everywhere, you know? And I mean, you know what I mean, like the tracks, that's what I really mean. I don't mean everything because people ain't really buying runway, but people are buying a lot of ready to wear. And it's just like, fashion isn't really what it used to be in terms of like, watch, just watching, watching all of these big brands step into streetwear, right? Their ready to wear is pretty much like tracksuits, sweaters, stuff that anybody can wear. It kind of takes the fun away from it because people used to really have to step outside the box to step into the stuff that you was interested in if you were interested in certain things. And then it was just like, Everybody's into it, you know? And um, a lot of people, if you were one of those people who wore certain things in pre, I want to say 2012, people looked at you crazy. And now a lot of that's changed. The landscape has changed. I used to always say that was like a Rick Owens. I'm no, I'm sorry, like a Kanye West dressing type of guy. And then like a Yo Gotti dressing type of guy. But now those two guys, like even the people who listen to their music, if you like, you know, like stereotypes and tropes. Now those guys are one and the same. You know what I'm saying? Because there's been a gap bridge, thanks to people like Kanye West, where people can really wear whatever the, they want. And I think that's tough, but it's just also kind of disheartening to know that people ridiculed you for the same things that they're running to do now. But that told me a lot about life too, so I hope y'all take that message. I mean, I know I'm here just to show y'all shoes, but honestly, Rick Owens or Omar Clay didn't do that much to show y'all. I mean, it's pretty much like a snow boot with the shoestrings, which is enough for me, because I mean, hey, I mean, I just make sweatsuits with embroidery on it. But I say this all to say that one, my eyes are burning from all of these lights. Uh, it took me a while to get this lighting right today. I don't know why, probably because it's dumb background, so it's kind of like, weirdening weirdening the focus for some reason but that's not why we're here what we're here for today uh the rick owens montclair boots and um overall i just really want to say they are worth the purchase um i tried them on off camera and they're comfortable like true to size definitely first i thought they was too small but then like i took like some more of the it was like some pads stuck up there, so don't let that happen to you. Uh, don't be a dunce like me. I think I'm using that word right. Um, but I, I've been here with y'all for a long time now, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't much. I hope y'all enjoyed it, though. I hope y'all like the shoes. Let me know what y'all think of the shoes. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Stay untouchable.